sorry. I, I, I'm no, sorry. No. no, I wasn't. No problem. <laughs> I do that all the time. Kate Howard. Why do you have a vial on Kate? I'll take that. Thanks. D.I.D.? Kate did what? Relax. I'm Kate's first assistant. I signed a non-disclosure form. <laughs> Afraid that doesn't apply. Obviously, it's important since did is in capital letters. Uh, I can't discuss it. Doctor patient confidentiality. So Kate's your patient? Look, sorry, I'm not trying to pry, it's just... Well, Kate's one of the sanest people I know in a really uptight, controlling kind of way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything to Kate or anyone about this file. No problem. Maybe you could do me a favor as well? If this has anything to do with Elizabeth Weber, I'd prefer it, not to hear it's it. It's about my cousin, Robin Scorpio Drake. I'm very sorry for your loss. I was just wondering if you knew any more specifics about what happened, what caused the explosion. I was at the staff briefing. Apparently, the control lever on the gas valve broke off, causing a leak, which eventually led to the explosion. Knowing the specifics won't bring your cousin back. I just... No, I... I just want different specifics. I don't want Robin to be dead. I... You don't understand. Then tell me. Is there something more you're not saying? Like my mother, my sister, my best friend. She always found a way to forgive me and to love me no matter what I did. Sorry. I just... I'd never do anything to hurt her, you know? I... The opposite's true. I was always trying to figure out a way to pay her back, to... to be as good to her as she was to me, and... That's natural. Well, there's nothing natural about what happened. Okay, Robin's gone, and I'm left with so many questions. I... God, there's so much that I, I just can't even say it out loud. I mean, be happy to see you professionally. Anything you say will be completely confidential. Thanks. I'll pass. Listen, everyone has things we're afraid to say, even to the closest people in our lives. You know, sometimes it helps to have someone to talk to who's impartial. I don't need professional help, okay? I'm not a crazy person. I'm not crazy, but grieving. And beyond that, you can't give yourself any kind of emotional label. You know what? I, I was with Robin that night in the lab before the explosion. Do so you want to know my emotional label? Guilty. I know why you'd feel guilty. You're having a perfectly normal reaction to what happened. And the best thing you can do right now is to keep talking about what you're feeling. I can't. It, it hurts so much. I'm... Denying or suppressing the grief will only make it worse. But letting those feelings out, accepting and uh, processing them will eventually help you get through this. I think I'm beyond help. No one's completely beyond help. No? Then why don't you tell that to Robin? It's not a sign of weakness to get a little help. You know, admit, there are things that we can't handle on our own. No, I have to get back to work. <laughs> Everyone needs a safe place, Maxie. Robin was my safe place. Okay, she always accepted me, and I mean, not that she cut me any slack. She definitely called me out when I was wrong, but she's always pushing me to be better than I was, better than I am. And...